Welcome again. This is Aaron Wolf with Kerasoft. In today's video, I want to show you two little reports that are going to allow us to answer two important questions. The first question is, who on my Adobe Connect account has a meeting host license? I.e., who are the people who can create and run Adobe Connect sessions on my specific Adobe Connect account? The second report we're going to run is going to answer the question of who of those in the meeting host group are the most active users in terms of minutes consumed and so forth. Now, for both of these reports, you will need to be an administrator for your Adobe Connect account. And let me show you how to pull these reports. So the first report we're going to focus in on, again, is the by name list of people who belong to the meeting host group and so forth. So after you log into your Adobe Connect account, we're going to click on administration. I'm going to scroll down here under the features section, especially the meeting subsection. We see the meeting host right here. It provides an important number. It provides the exact number of licenses I have currently on my Adobe Connect account. In this instance, 1,583. Now that number is great, but again, I want a by name list of who all those 1,583 people are. To get that list, I'm going to come up here to the top middle, just above where it says account information, this blue bar. I'm going to click on reports. I am now going to click on view download reports. I'm going to come up here for report filters. I'm going to click on that. And on, over here on the right hand side, I'm going to click on add and remove groups. Now I can pick any one of these groups that I'm interested in, but specifically today, I'm interested in the meeting hosts. So I'm going to make sure that's checkmarked. Come down here at the bottom, click save, and I'm going to click save again, and so forth. Now I'm going to scroll down here to the user section and click on download report data. It's going to download this in, in, in Excel format. Usually it's not pretty uh, slow. It's right there, it's really quick. Boom. Here's the Excel file. So this is my by name list of meeting host users. If I click on this column, I can see down here the count of entries is 1,584. But if I remember too, my first row is just headers. So 1,584 minus 1 is that magic number of 1,583. This is exactly what we wanted to see. 1,583 matches exactly that number that we saw earlier and so forth. I can expand this out, make it a little prettier. And now I can go by name and see exactly who all these people still belong to our organization and whose accounts we may need to delete at some point simply because they have left and so forth. So that's the first report. Again, pulling the by name list of your meeting host licenses. The second question we want to ask her is of those members of that meeting host, who are the most active users? Now for this one, again, you will need to be an admin. We'll come on after we log in, we'll click on reports. We will click on, make sure you have flash enabled and so forth. We'll click on system usage down here at the bottom. We'll click on group usage from the drop down. I'm going to select the meeting hosts. I'm going to click the next button. Under add and remove report fields, I want to make sure we include their email address in case I need to email them, uh, in case I want to contact some of them. You can include any of this other contacts, um, this other uh, uh, fields if you want to. And I'm going to say since the beginning of this year, calendar year, 1 January until today, I'm just going to leave this open. Who are my most active users? I'm going to click create report and the report's going to spin. Depending on how many users you're talking about, depending on how much usage, will dictate how long of a process this is. This wasn't terribly long. Now this is useful right here, but it's not as useful as it could be because what I now want to do is I want to download that report. I want to download it in Excel. It's just easier to play with in Excel. So here's the Excel file. You have all these titles up here, uh, all these field headers. The one you want to focus on is the aggregate meeting minutes right here in column D. If we expand this out to make it a little bit nicer so you can see it, aggregate, aggregate meeting minutes right there and so forth. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all this data. I'm going to sort on these column headers. So aggregate meeting minutes from largest to smallest, boom. And right there, not surprising, Kyle Flanagan is our most active user. He is our demo workhorse. He does most of the Adobe Connect demos. Not surprising that he has the most uh, minutes and so forth. But I can come here also and I can see, okay, these right here are my top 10 users. I can do my top 10, my top 15, my top 20. Whatever list I want to do now, I can do exactly right here because this column will dictate my most active users in terms of minutes consumed and so forth. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, let us know.